Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to pin a live page to a dashboard in the Power BI service. So your report can contain multiple pages and you can pin one of the pages. So the benefits of that is if you pin individual visuals into a dashboard, they cannot interact. So you can't do cross visual filtering. You cannot use slicers as well. Um, but if you pin a live page, the interactivity remains, which is a fairly strong feature of Power BI and you would always want to push that into the dashboard. So we'll uh, learn how to pin a live page. Let's start. So I'll go into one of my workspaces called Learn to Excel and uh, we'll go to the reports and I'll click on my report and my report has essentially got two pages. So it's got page one and page two. So we'll I could pin either of the pages, but in this specific case, we'll just pin page one. And you can see it gives me the option to pin a live page, which is in the read view. So in the read view, you've got the option to pin a live page. And if I click on edit report again, you can see it gives me an option to pin a live page. So it really doesn't matter. This option is available to you in both the views. Let's go back to the reading view. And now I'll just click on pin a live page. And uh, let's do it to a new dashboard. So we'll call it dash one and pin live. So it, now it gives us the option, it's pinned the dashboard, pinned to the dashboard. So we'll just go to the dashboard. You can also go to the dashboard by clicking on your workspace and click, so the first one's dashboard. So we'll click on dash one and you can see our live page here now. And you can see that the various visuals will interact on a live page if you pin a live page onto a report. So if I move this around, you can see that the various visuals are interacting. Or for example, now, if I go to uh, go and filter on one of the countries, so let's just say I filter on click on United Kingdom. And you will automatically see that United Kingdom has been uh, highlighted and the data, all of the data is filtered out for United Kingdom. Similarly, if I click on North America, you can see that the United Kingdom is selected and the numbers have changed. So it does allow us to do uh, cross visual filtering as well. And um, yeah, so uh, it's a fairly good option. And I think the Power BI, the, the greatest strength is the interaction between visuals. And if you pin the visuals separately, that doesn't work that well. So you uh, typically want to leverage the functionality of the interactivity between the visuals by pinning a live page and that's what we've explored in this uh, specific video. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Do let me know if you would like me to take any specific topic. Cheers. Bye.